welcome everyone. Welcome. I just want to have one more round of applause for the amazing ninth and 10th grade orchestra from White Bear Lake High School. That was an amazing treat on our new stage here with this beautiful view. So thank you for being here, everyone. Welcome to White Bear Center for the Arts, seventh annual high school visual arts exhibition. We are so excited to be here with you this evening. I want to congratulate and thank all of the artists who submitted their work tonight. You are so courageous and brave. And it's amazing to see all of this work in this new Ford Family Gallery. Your work helps us find a deeper meaning and understanding to ourselves and to you and to the world around us. And I want all of our young artists to remember that the imagination is a really powerful muscle. And the more you use it, the stronger it becomes. And you can use it to change the world. So please don't forget that. And thank you all for being here. I want to introduce our host for the evening, WBCA's Gallery Director, Danielle Cezanne. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Uh, don't forget there are snacks in the other room too. And I, speaking of snacks, I would like to introduce uh, Lori Swanson, who is in charge of our hospitality out at all of our events. And she's also, um, yes, the development coordinator who organizes our donors and the people that make events like this possible. So here she is, Lori Swanson. Thank you, Danielle. I, I'd like to add my thanks to the ninth and 10th grade students from the White Bear Lake High School Orchestra. They did an amazing job. Uh, thank you all for being here this evening. We are able to host events like this, these enriching events for high school students um, with the support of the community, our donors, our business sponsors. This is my role this evening just to let you know that as a local nonprofit organization, we are so grateful for the support we get from the community. I'd like to acknowledge um, some of our premier business sponsors this evening and donors and supporting organizations. So, with no further ado, in partnership with our donors, we have businesses who support us every step of the way and really uh, look up to you for these events. Boyum Berenshear, Emergency Contractor Services, Griner Construction, J.L. Schweeters Building Supply Construction, Mueller Memorial, New Studio Architecture, Schweeters Pottery, Stonehouse Catering, Veterans of Foreign Wars, Keep Zimmer Post 1782, XL Energy Foundation, and the Vadness Heights Area Community Foundation. Those are our premier sponsors and donors for events such as this so we can do this for the community. We encourage everyone to check out our website, grab our catalogs on your way out for a full listing of our sponsors and the programming that we do all year long for all generations and abilities. This activity is made possible by the voters of Minnesota through a Minnesota State Arts Board support grant, thanks to a legislative appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. And this activity is also made possible in part by the Manitou Fund. Lastly, as a nonprofit, we have one fundraising event each year. It is in two weeks from this evening. Heart for Art is our annual uh, fundraising event for arts programming. Every dollar goes toward arts programming to be in partnership with our sponsors and our donors to uh, host events such as this. So please check that out. Let us know if you're interested in the event or supporting White Bear Center for the Arts. Thank you again. I'll turn this back over to Danielle. Enjoy the evening. Thank you, Lori. Okay, what you've all been waiting for. Um, first of all, I'd like to just mention that 141 pieces were accepted this year from 12 different schools. Um, it, we've really grown from when we started with, I think, about four schools. And this year it's been Irondale was, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, 
Is it too loud? <laughs> okay. This year we added Irondale was one of the schools, Woodbury, Malls Park Academy, Matamidi, Minnesota Connections Academy, St. Croix Preparatory uh, Academy, Stillwater Area High School, Two Rivers High School, and White Bear Lake Area High School, White Bear Lake ALC, and just the various homeschool um, uh, students that participated. And we always say how amazing it is, but this year it really is amazing. Uh, the work is incredible. Uh, I heard that maybe things went down during COVID, but I don't think that's true. It seemed like everyone blossomed after COVID. So thank you all for participating. I'd like to introduce our judges this year for our awards. We have on the end, Kyle Fredrickson. Um, he was, uh, many of you know him, he was a teacher in White Bear Lake area schools, um, bringing art in elementary. He also does landscapes and murals, and we don't know what we would do without him. <laughs> and Destiny Davison, she has a, an ex exhibition over there in the other room, if you want to look on those walls. She's a teacher here. She's a extremely creative animator and cartoonist and she has some books for sale and we're just so happy to have her as part of the art center and our third judge is christopher alday who moved here from southern california to study printmaking we say why but uh, after this kind of winter but anyway i let him say more about himself when it comes to judge's choice but first of all, we'd like to start with best of show. Are you ready? And the winner is, wait a minute. You can turn to your booklet. If you have, <laughs> we usually have visuals behind us, but we're not there yet. So um, best of show is Astrid Sharp for Calamity. Is Astrid here? I just want to say something about your entire body of work. I looked at another piece that you had and I thought, oh, I wish this one had won a prize, but then I realized it was you again. <laughs> so. Why did you choose that for best of show? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll go ahead. I think we were, um, again, I want, we first of all want to thank everyone. Uh, we had such a magnificent time. Uh, looking through um, uh, and being able to enjoy all of your beautiful artwork. Um, Astrid, we were just, I think, collectively um, impressed and uh, amazed by the, the clear intention of uh, line, of your creativity, and your imagination put forth into your line work, your use of color, and then I think just the overall, uh, the overall imagery that I think struck a chord both uh, for its artistic excellence as well as its uh, kind of a, a through line to uh, a universal feeling of um, and a universal imagery that I think we've all been feeling these past two years. So I think you just captured a moment uh, for us collectively as um, viewers of your artwork and then also I think it was just uh, just a brilliant use of your own creativity and imagination okay. the next award is director's choice and it's Eloise Colton are you here oh come on up I just have to say I love your work. Um, I was the director that chose, chose your painting and it's, it was based on a body of work too. I, I loved your other two pieces as well and the work that you've done in the past. You're, you're so creative. Your execution is wonderful. And I just like a little bit of that subversive um, other meaning that you convey in your work. So thank you. Next, we have our Awards of Excellence. Um, 
We have Caden Donahue for the three-tier fountain, which is right over there in the corner. At, oh, okay. Well, you know, Caden has a few pieces, and they're just wonderful. Okay, I gotta go this way. Uh, okay, so uh, Caden is not here, but uh, this will just be out to him. Then uh, you know, we I just really enjoyed the uh, the, the piece, you know. So we we, we kind of collectively, you know, know how hard it is to try to get uh, Clay to do what you wanted to do, and then much less uh, make it into a right make it into a fountain and then have the pieces all work and stuff but uh we just it was just beautiful even without the water coming through and everything we really did appreciate it so very nicely done and our other award of excellence is jocelyn mcbride for pursuit it's the wonderful metal piece back there is jocelyn here Hey, Jocelyn, how you doing? Uh, yeah, we really liked the piece. I liked the scale. I think we liked seeing the raw metal untreated, the fine line of the carving of the shapes. It was just really interesting. And raw material, like I, that, I think that's what struck with me the most, that you didn't try to overly paint something, you let the metal be part of it. Uh, yeah, I just like the craft. I want to know if you would make that bigger in the future. <laughs> well, I hope these um, prizes help. There's a gift card from Wet Paint, and there's also the cash awards, as well as other awards coming up. Um, next, we have our awards of merit. Uh, the first one is William Clark, uh, City in Spear. Is William here? Oh, good. William, uh, I think, again, collectively, uh, we were uh, really taken with the perspective you chose in the photography, and then just the, the multi-dimensional use of uh, the sphere uh, to the fingers to your, even your background and use of color and shadow in order to just dive into that focal point of that cityscape, I think was really just really cool to see, and we just really enjoy your perspective on uh, a difficult medium, photography. There's a lot of directions you can go, and we really love where you took it. Thank you. Um, the next awardee is Meg Peterson for Curious Cutlery. Meg, it was a really sweet, tiny piece. Uh, it was really interesting to see you choose an object that was metallic, reflective, but also inverted the person in the spoon. I love the inclusion of the fingers. They like, give you like a sense of scale. Um, it's close to like maybe a large serving spoon actual size, which I enjoyed. Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah. I am in wholehearted agreement with everything there. And I also love just your use of blending of color too in order to interpret shadows. Uh, dimension of the spoon and just the overall kind of whimsical quality of something that could be also portraiture but then also this otherworldly aspect going on in the piece I really liked it well I just I think all of us probably looked at a spoon and went huh I'm upside down <laughs> Very nice. yeah The next uh, award winner is Jack McIntyre for Untitled. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's weird. It's got a lot of tendrils. Like, do you have an overall idea of why you made it like that? Or what you chose to, like, you just kept making tubes? <laughs> Ah, it's great. Like, I can still see it as functional if you like almost turn it up, upside down completely. Um, I like it. It's almost musical. The discs at the end, I like the challenge of keeping it all together without it falling apart while firing it, let alone getting it from there to here. It's also impressive. Um, anything else you say? Yeah, I think 
Mm. Like an instrument and a uh, spout at the same time, and that's very difficult to do. So I think whatever it is, it's great. Good on you. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Wow, that got quiet suddenly. So um, next we have our honorable mentions, which are on some page. Okay. The first one is Claire Lee. Dress for success. Is Claire here? Correct. Um, Claire, uh, altogether, if you've seen her piece, she has one of the larger pieces in the show. And uh, looking at it as uh, judges, I got on right off the bat, uh, completely impressed by your use of shadow and being able to just um, complete a portrait of that scale is already difficult in and of its own. But I think that uh, the size of the piece, you're still able to uh, achieve a sense of intimacy with uh, your uh, figure and uh, just a, a moment in time uh, while also keeping just the artistic integrity of uh, gentle line work and shadow and really just an emotional moment in time, I think, is something that stuck with me uh, when thinking of your piece later. So uh, excellent work. Uh, portraiture is also a very difficult medium and something that I think is both uh, can, you're painting a person, you're, you're drawing a person, but also you're also capturing, thank you, <laughs> uh, you're capturing a very emotional moment too. And I think you just did it very beautifully. So thank you. One more thing I want to mention. I really love the fact that the figure is giving the most positive gesture with the plainest face ever. Like, they did not look like they want to be there, but you got them to do something. So good for you. <laughs> the next winner is Lucas Fisher for pro number one. Good job, Lucas. Congratulations. As a uh, woodworker myself, I uh, enjoyed this piece immensely, you know, I, I love it when we're getting into different, uh, you know, just different materials and uh, I kind of got the sense that like when I'm working yourself, it's just, you know, what, what could I do now or, and you know, and it's just like adding, subtracting to whatever you need to do, but uh, what a great, you. I mean, just a lot of fun with it, you know, and just, uh, it, it takes a lot of courage to just kind of start just throwing things down and just kind of saying, okay, what am I going to do and stuff like that. So it was really, really fun. Um, it was it was great trying to get it up on the wall. That was a, that was a really exciting, you know, uh, <laughs> trying to get it straight. Uh, we only hung it upside down three times, but other than that, it's fine. I'm glad you put your name on the back. But uh, no, it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Thanks. The next winner is Jacqueline Ong for Senescence. Is Jacqueline here? Hopefully. Well, um, would you like to say something? Uh, sure, yes. This piece really stood out to me, uh, both for its use of grayscale and color, but also and just another very simple, poignant, emotional moment. You have, we all have a heart. Uh, most of us all have hands, too, and them reaching for each other together and separate at the same time. I think it was just a very interesting concept that Jacqueline captured in an innovative uh, way in using uh, several mediums in her piece. So, yeah. Okay, next we have Judge's Choice. First one is Destiny A. Davison, who p picked a uh, Willow Connickson for Phoebe. Where's the phobia? Excuse me, that's phobia. I just had eye surgery, so. <laughs> Thank you so much, Willow. Uh, this piece stood out to me right away. Uh, I really enjoyed your use of just bold choices. 
uh, both in broad brush strokes, uh, perspective, color contrast, uh, the framing even of your piece, and also just the, uh, the whimsy. And I was curious right away, I wanted to know um, who are these spiders? Where are they going? That is true. Uh, I do have to admit spiders are one of my favorite insects of all time. I will not squash them even if my life depended on it. So that says might say a lot about me, but <laughs> well, thank you. I, I thought your piece was absolutely breathtaking and just congratulations. Thanks a lot. Okay, the next uh, choice was from Christopher Alday was uh, Clone Mutication by Kirsten Vassell. Okay. All right, so I thought it was really interesting. I am a really big fan of Austin and Lodge, obviously being put together, collage. I have an affinity for older materials, but not like older than the 1950s. There is a really rich, artificial, chemical-looking color to things back then that I really enjoy. Um, I love sort of the conversation between the two heads on the phone, because it also acts like a seesaw, which is like a back and forth. It's also so bizarre that I think it's fascinating. I would never want to own it. I don't want to have it. I'm glad it's here and not anywhere near me. Uh, yeah, I just think it's nice. And I really like knowing that it's probably hollow because it's plastic. It's probably really light. And I don't know why that makes me feel good about it. Just knowing that it is manufactured and weird. Good job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. OK. And now it's uh, Kyle Frederick Fredrickson's Choice by Catrielle Barnett, and it's called Holding On. For sure. Well, congratulations, Catrielle. I, I enjoyed your piece. It was all right. So we have this Judges' Choice Awards, and I had 140 of them. So then we had to kind of narrow it down. I mean, it was every piece of work in there can be a, a judge's. It was just fantastic. The three of us, it, it was it was quite difficult. But enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed your piece. As I was saying to Lucas, I, I, I'm a real big fan of putting different uh, materials and you know different things on your piece. And then you added lighting and uh, this uh, pink cord and stuff like that. So it was it was. For me, it was just it was just a wonderful piece. I really like looking at it. You've got different shapes, you've got different uh, sizes, and things like that. It was it was really a fun piece. I can see that you you know really put some thought and really put some effort into it, and uh, I really appreciate that. So, very nice. Thank you. Okay, the next award is from MCAD. Um, we're so happy that they support our shows every year, the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. And Christopher, would you like to talk about this award? Sure. Yeah. So uh, I didn't think I was going to talk about this award at all, but that's fine. Uh, so this award is given to who? Um, yes. Nicholas Autumn, Divine Femme Edition. Is Nicholas here? does not look like it, but that's okay. Uh, it was, I mean, I really enjoyed that it looked like a magazine. It was designed, it was typeset, photograph was taken, it was striking, single image. Um, and I think it helped that it was the scale of a magazine cover. Like, I didn't think about that until like right now. Like the photo itself is so, sort of close to that size anyways. Um, it just looks like he has an interest in presenting information and paired it with photography. Imagery, information, communication. I think they have a strong future ahead of them if they want to pursue that. And I wanted MCAD to recognize that with this award. So if you know him, let him know I'm going to contact him like tonight. So he's not like worried, like, who is this dude? There's a guy who has something for him for free. So just let him know. <laughs> oh, that didn't sound creepy. <laughs> <laughs> So, our, you know, our next set of awards are really special. 
We have a, a group called AHA that has an exhibition in the hallway, and then also Beverly has um, another set of work in the community studio. And they, uh, Donald, would you like to come up and say anything uh, about these awards? Um, we have a series of three awards. Uh, the first one was from Beverly Tipton Hammond and A. Drew Hammond um, from the group. You can see their artwork in the hallway there. And it's to Talawalasi uh, Akintola. Um, I don't see her here, but, um, and it's called Written in Black. Is she, is she here? Well, we'll make sure that she gets this award. But if you'd like to talk about the AHA group. Thanks. First of all, I want to thank you all for, especially the, the young artists. I mean, you all really blew my mind. We came over earlier and viewed the artwork, and you all just don't know how powerful, how impact of what you all have done. You know, it takes away all the bad things that's going on. You have breath of fresh air, and keep it going, because uh, you all are, are the, the talent is, is blooming. It is really some good work, and uh, I really thank you all for allowing us, giving us this opportunity to view and see the future of where the artwork is going. You all are right on top of it. And thank you. And it was, uh, a, again, a, a great opportunity to see this good work. Okay. And uh, the next award was provided by um, Donald Walker. And that's him right there who just spoke. And it goes to Sophia Kelly for Collision. Sophia here? Oh, good. Hello. The Drew uh, helped pick these awards. Uh, Drew Hammond, one of the AHA artists, and he just he just found your image captivating and interesting, and that and that's why he chose it. So thank you very much. And the next award is and the last award is from James Stewart, and it goes to um, Fayette Soto, a giraffe's kaleidoscope. And James is one of the main people from AHA right there who, who got the group together, who got them organized, who connected them with the city of White Bear Lake and many faces in the Rotary Club. And he also gave an award for AHA. So is, is Faith here? No? Okay. Well, we'll make sure that they get their awards. And thank you very much for supporting the young artists. And thank you, everybody, for coming. And I hope you're going to have some more snacks and enjoy yourself.